Hi everybody, welcome back to another lesson in my level 3 beginner piano course. In this lesson we're going to learn Gorlitz Allegro from opus 228 number 97. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like what you see give this video a thumbs up. Also I offer online piano lessons if you're looking for one there's going to be information below. This chapter is all about note repetition and the trill. So this piece by Gurlit is also working on note repetition but more in the context of a piece. So not just specifically note repetition but kind of putting it into context. It's a very short little piece, it's really just to see how we can combine note repetitions with other patterns like a scale pattern and two note slurs. So it has a few little expressive difficulties and we are in the key of C major and it says allegro so fairly fast and 2-4 is the time signature so two quarter note crotchet beats in every bar. Now as you can see the first bar is a unison scale that starts in an eighth note and then sixteenth note and we need to do a crescendo so getting louder as you go up on that scale and finishing on these repeated C's which are all staccatos and then having another slur which is a four note slur and then a two note slur which has to round off towards the end and that's the first phrase. The second phrase starts exactly the same but then in the last two bars we have three two note slurs so again drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. So let's have a look at the left hand starting at five on the C below middle C, T, T, R, T, R, T, R, T. So the rhythm is T, T, R, T, R, T, R, T. Eighth note, sixteenth, sixteenth, and so on. So be careful to hold that first note a little bit longer, twice as long as a sixteenth note. So starting gently, coming up a legato on the scale, moving the wrist, wrist circles towards the C, and the crescendo and lift. And don't forget your thumb crossing on the A. Lift up, and then have a chord, B and G, and then C, G. Second line. A G chord, D, G, B, D, F sharp, C, D7, and finishing on the G chord. Now be careful with the chords, make sure you have a rounded hand shape and you play the chord notes very accurately together, not like this. So accurately going down not too heavy, but making sure you have a deep key attack so the whole arm is channeling energy into those chords. The right hand starts with the same scale on the middle C, but we finish on these repeated notes. So five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. And we talked about these repeated notes before. We have to alternate the finger numbers on the repeated notes and we don't play it with an up-down motion. We play everything with a rounded motion. So almost like there's a little bit of dust on the keys and you want to flick it off. So a rounded motion from the hand and lightly. So bounce, bounce, and round, and round off. So we're going to put a little bit of an accent on the E, connect to the C, and diminuendo. So strong, light. Every time you have a two note slur, the first note has to be stronger, the second note lighter, unless otherwise indicated. So strong, light, down, up. Second line. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And we have a quarter note in the end. So again, two note slurs. Down, up, down, up, hold, up. Hands together. Now the, the difficulty here is the unison scale. You have to make sure the fingers are really curved. You're playing with the fingertips and accuracy between the two hands. So each hand is playing the notes exactly at the same time. What can happen with fast hands together scales is this. The one hand is running in front of the other one. I see this very often, so start slowly. Drop, bounce, drop, bounce, drop. 
Draw, Bounce. And there we are. And we have a repeat sign at the end, so we have to play it twice. So be very careful with those scales. Play very slowly, accuracy between the hands, and then you can start going a bit faster, but keeping those fingers curved and playing with the fingertips.